roasted strawberry pretzel parfaits. That's what we're going to work on today. Springtime always makes me think of early fruits, early vegetables, and so that's where we're going to go. I'm going to start with the strawberries, and we're going to roast them, which is going to dry them out a little bit and really bring out the flavor. It's also going to release some juice, so in the roasting process, I don't want to cook, put them directly on a, on a board. I want to put them on, on a piece of uh, parchment paper as well. So these strawberries are huge. You need about a cup. This only makes two servings, so I'm going to cut them in half. And this really monster one, I'm going to cut in quarters so that they're similar in size. And then I'm going to put them in a bowl here. The, the nice thing about this one is that this stuff is really nice on, in multiple purposes. You can use the roasted strawberries uh, in the parfait. You can use them uh, on a bagel or toast uh, or uh, mix them in with other things, too. So I'm putting in somewhere between one to two teaspoons of sugar. I don't want to use a lot. Uh, if the berries are good, you can taste your berries ahead of time. If they are really sweet to start with, you may not need a lot. Um, these are, as you can see, some of the larger ones that may not have as nice of a flavor. Uh, so I'm going to add a little bit extra sugar in here too. These are now going on my sheet here, my baking sheet. And I want to spread them out. And I'm going to put them all the same direction simply because the, you need to flip them about halfway through. The oven's preheated at, 320, at 425. Uh, and halfway through the 15-minute baking time or roasting time, you want to flip them over. And if I've got them all the same direction, then I can tell which ones I've flipped and which ones I haven't. So these are going to go in the oven. You can use them directly after they come out, or you can let them cool a little bit. You can make them up a couple of days ahead. Uh, that gives you some time freedom. All right, these you can see that some of the juice has gotten a little bit too dark, which means you're not going to want to try and, and save the juice for most of them. But the, the berries themselves are, they smell fantastic. So let's go ahead and, and work on the next step on this. We'll let them cool just a little bit. I have a cup of small pretzels. Uh, get the brand of your choice. Uh, you could put them in a food processor, but there's really no reason to. It's not a lot. It's only a cup, and I always wonder what, how many dishes do I want to do, even with a dishwasher. So we're just going to break these up. They don't have to be pulverized. We just want them in uh, kind of small pieces, so it doesn't take very long. And you can, if some of them go more finely than others, that also is not a problem. I put these in a bowl, and I've got a tablespoon of unsalted butter because we have lots of salt here on the pretzels. And so we're going to put that over it. And again, you could use a little bit less if you wanted to, but you do want them to be coated. And then just a pinch of cinnamon, just a small amount to, to bring everything out. Stir those together and set those aside. And then we'll do the last step on this, which is three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt. Now I'm using a whole milk yogurt because I think it feels richer and, and in my mouth and uh, just gives a nice flavor, but you could use a reduced fat one. You just want to use one that's plain as much as you can. It can be a Greek yogurt. If you can still find one that's not Greek this plain, uh, that will work also. And then to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar. And we want to make sure that there aren't any lumps here, but it's just a matter of stirring it together. And at that point we're going to be ready to make the parfaits. And if it's a little streaky, it's okay. We just didn't want it lumpy. So I'm going to put some of the yogurt into a small glass and turn the timer off. Now the trick here is to try and do it as much as you can without marking the sides, which I've already done, obviously. And then strawberries in here. Remember, this makes two servings. So you want to divide this out. However, also remember that I probably cooked more strawberries than I needed to, so that you may find that you have some left over. A little bit here of the pretzels, and then like all parfaits, you're just going to layer it up. Because you can do a lot of this ahead of time, you could mix the yogurt together with the sugar. About the only thing you don't want to do too far ahead of time is actually put everything together. Uh, because you'll find that the pretzels do get soggy fairly quickly. So the assembly needs to be pretty close to when you're actually going to serve. Our last layer of whoops, pretzels. Now I'm going to put a little bit more yogurt on the top. 
and then top it off if you wanted to with a garnish. This one's huge. A smaller strawberry would probably be a better choice. But you can see this is a, a small recipe for a, a one or two people. It's really, really good. Doesn't take much time. And all the ingredients pretty much can be done ahead. The last thing you do at the last minute is put it all together. I hope you'll try this one for Oklahoma Gardening. I'm Bob. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.